the bible way <laughs> yesu haezi kujitokeza kwa sababu wako ndani yako akijitokeza ni sawa lakini mara nyingi ajitokezaje juu ameambiwa hata <laughs> angalia kwa biblia yako watu wale yesu alitokea hawakuwa amesema ajitokeze they were just living their lives by faith but he decided to appear to them jina mwana libarikiwe so jesus is not with us here but one day we shall join him physically and we shall live with him for days without a number for that event and for that climax of our faith the bible says we must keep on uh, uh, preparing ourselves and live conscious of it sana and do all we can to stay vigilant so the book of matthew chapter 24 and I'll begin reading from verse 36. Or rather we can begin from verse 35. Jesus told his disciples, Matthew 24 verse 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So the words of Jesus will remain. The words of Jesus are four seasons. The words of Jesus are not do not respect time. To neither one one. Yani kire yesu wali yongea, na kire anaongea, na kire atakachongea. Haki tegemei wakati. It is still works. Kwa hivyo hata maneno yesu wali sema wakati alikuwa pa duniani, akifanya huduma yake, akiwa dani ya mwili. Inafanya kazi mpaka leo. Because his words will never uh, fail to, to be fulfilled. And those words will not pass away like the world. Verse that six, the Bible says, but of that day, concerning, of course, the day of his return, he says, and hour, that day and hour, knoweth no man. Okay? So, hakuna mutu wakona the specific day. And I want you to read the, uh, to see the, the details in the Bible. No, no one has the specific day of God's return, or sorry, of the son of God's return. And also, nobody knows the hour. So, anybody who comes and tells you, Yes, we are tarudi siku furani, masa furani, uh, anakudaganya. Tunera wano? Hajui. Bibina sema hata yesu mwenyewe haku wabiwa. Iyo ni maneni najulikana tu na baba. Lakini, hiyo haimanisi ya tuweze tukafanya calculation, tukajua how near are we. Those are two different things. Are we together? Because I saw it even somewhere on the internet, some people uh, bashing a certain uh, man of God, uh, just because the man of God said, this world cannot be here for more than 10 years. Between now and 10 years, uh, Christ must have returned. I don't know why they have a problem with that. Uh, personally, I don't have a problem because he didn't say the day or the hour. <laughs> because the scripture says nobody knows the day. <laughs> but nobody said no, no one knows the decade. <laughs> because 10 years is a whole decade. <laughs> Otherwise, Jesus himself would not have told us the signs to watch to know that he is near. You would have avoided that if completely we are not supposed to do any calculations. Are we together? But now that we are supposed to do that, we must always keep on remembering that we are very near the close of age. So heaven and earth shall not all right, but of that particular day and hour, no way the no man, no not one, not even the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah, such as you know, the specific day is not known, but he begins to tell us, the baby shall know that he is near and he will be coming back. It's by reflecting on the days of Noah. As the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, they were drinking, and maybe before I lead ahead of myself, it is important to see that this is not the first world. There was another world and God destroyed it. So when he tells you he's going to destroy this one, you better believe it. Ukisikia mutu wana kuambia takuwa na meua mutu, ni vizuli kujua na eza uwa. Shida niwe unatishaka watu na hujai uwa. So bebe hatuwezi tuka kuchukua serious. Lakini mutu wakitokea seme ni mini liuwa furani na nenezai kakuwa. You better run for your life. So God is saying, I destroyed, or rather I destroyed the first world. There was another world. Ilikuwa ya kinanuhu. Na muna erewa hiyo dunia ilihalibiwa na nini? Ilihalibiwa na... Na kizazi furani kiringe huku duniani chenye siwa na damu kabisa. <laughs> Maana ki, kire kire, muna ujua the Netflix. Kizazi ambacho kilikuwa ni kubainezo ni ya mutu na maraika. Na kuna watu wanagyo. Hati maraika hawezi wakuja huku duniani na wapate watoto. Wewe ni confused. Ukiangalia katika Biblia Maraika walitokea mahali kwingi wakiwa kama wanadamu. 
wakapikiwa chakula na Abraham na wa kusema hayonji vizuri <laughs> meaning they had little bodies they ate that food and they blessed him are we clear hata tumeambiwa na biblia katika new testament atemstoke kutenda mema kwa sababu kwa kuwakaribisha watu wengine tunawakaribisha maraika bila kujua so maraika can come in the body na i don't want to assume that it's a body that cannot reproduce it's not clear from scripture but the, okay the thing is uh, the bible is clear that the sons of men god uh, had affairs with the sons of men na kukazaliwa kizazi kibaya sana kizazi cha imagine kizazi kinajua biguni na hapa <laughs> mungu hataki kizazi kama hiyo hapa maana wokovu haja promisiwa watu kama hao wokovu imepromisiwa human beings no more human beings for god so loved the world and not the nephilims that he gave his only begotten son so it was for the push of the love and the passion god had for man the man he created originally the way he's supposed to be jina bwana libarikiwe and by the way let me remind you that's one thing that will repeat itself when jesus is almost coming and what is that people will want to alter the humans the way we know them there was a sunday here i spoke about uh, human enhancement those were things I read and studied many years ago before now. <laughs> Funny enough, it is right now a big debate. There are some people that are discovering there have been some researches going on and some dirty kind of science. Na imekuja of late na hiwa naita nanotechnology. Nanotechnology, manasema ni technology kuna uwezo ya kumodify DNA ya mutu. Hata ikue editable. Munajua editable. Watu wale munajua printing, design na whatever. You know, ukitumiwa soft copy ya ya tuseme maybe a certain post or a document. Ukitumiwa kuwa soft copy and then maybe it is saved in PDF version, you can be able to edit anytime. So you can imagine your DNA mtu akiwa na uwezo ya kubadilisha badilisha kwa vile anataka. Unajua hivi ulivyo na kubehave kwa hivyo kwa sababu ya DNA. Tukibadilisha DNA yako, we can change the whole of you. Jina bwana libarikiwe. Na hiyo hiyo nano technology it is a biotech uh, techno uh, kind of process yenye inatumika saa hii tunaongea na wewe si mazika ubwe. Ni kitu inaweza mpaka uh, wanaweza faulu kuiweka under your, uh, your skin na ina function na machine. Unaionyesha hata machine fulani ina, inafanya kitu unataka maybe ATM unatoa pesa unaweza chukua nayo simu I saw somebody doing that was it in Sweden? Uh, walikuwa nafanya test na some few young people fronted themselves for it so they would even pick their calls from there with that chip tunerawanwa kwa sababu ni kitu hata haintafi na wewe maana it is a very minute cell it is a billion part of a cell you can imagine at one billion <laughs> of your cell you, you won't even feel it <laughs> are you together sasa nyakati zile maraika walikuja wakafanya mapenzi hapa na wanawake waki wanadamu kukazaliwa kabila hali eleweke. I think shetani nataka kurudiria kitu ile ile ile. Abadilisha wanadamu mpaka in fact mimi kuna watu nakutanaka nao naona hii si mtu. <laughs> hmm? Kama mmoja nikutana naye kwa airport ya Qatar. Hajai sijai muzahau. Kwa ni kesi ndio mama nefri mama wako kuisha. Because this guy was abnormally big abnormal i mean I, i don't know how to put it mugu peke yake ni wewe <laughs> na amesimama hivi na kinyasa mpaka watu walikuwa wanamuondokea hao ni wale unapea raini asikasiriki akiwa nyuma yako <laughs> because anything can happen okay well i'm just teasing na i'm not sure kama <laughs> kama hiyo ni nevrim but kuna watu unaona mtu mwikale na wake wakati mtu na kama mtu akutegeneza ni kama modified na anyway hata vitu zinaendelea duniani uh, my friend you can tell i think tumeanza ku mix begu <laughs> jina bwana libarikiwe maana kuna vitu zinafanyika unaona mwanadamu hawezi kufanya hivyo then wameanza kutuletea movie zenye zinafuatana za kutuonyesha that one day the earth will be invaded by aliens please take it serious <laughs> and i know i might go down in record being labeled as a uh, nini conspiracy theorist that's your own problem i know that the man is so wicked he can do anything wali walitengeneza movie kama ine zinahusu corona saa hii tunazifuata script by script everything na please wakati the dark world inataka communicate na wewe siniwaambia hapa last uh, friday systems of the world are controlled by dark powers uh, please make no mistake 
they don't own us, but we live in the world they control. So that's why we have been given the power to exercise authority, at least within the vicinity that concerns us. So anytime the devil wants to advertise his stuff or what he's about to do, he'll use the same same systems. And the, the one you cannot suspect is the a system of entertainment. Because after all, is it not entertainment? <laughs> Another one. Have you ever heard any other time Mpaka cartoon is about totos in major magic, the major mambo ya demonology kama sahi. There's a lot of demonic cartoon cartoons. See maramoja mabiri, ni mengia kwangu ni kachukua few minutes and please I want to tell the parents here. Make it a habit to watch those cartoons with your children. Before mtoto aingiwe na roho ya rebellion mpaka unashangaa, haka haka ni nini kamefanyika? Imetoka kwa hiyo cartoon. That's how demons minister. You call it entertainment by the, by the time you are done watching, it was not just a movie. Like, for instance, the people who watch pornography, they think all they did was watch pornography. But ask yourself, why are you so powerfully addicted? And again, what is there in the body of a man or a woman to addict you? <laughs> Normally. Do you know kiretewa mutu wa koliru uchi uangalia huwezi? Eno yogo? Mutu wa kouchi ambiwa mefugiwa na hapa, mutu wa nalipa miya kumuona. Tikafa agare ya kegoa. I mean, ya kufanyia nini? Wakila mutu wakona muiria, kasi wende ukaangalia yako. Hata watu wengine watakutuka na wakwabia ni kitu dugu. <laughs> Lakini huyo huyo hame kutuka na kakuliza kama ni kitu. Ako kwa simu wakiona hiyo miri. Throughout. Because this is not just nakedness. There is a spirit of rust involved. And it is a spell being cast on you. By the time you are done watching, you just want to, to watch that. And finally, you go out to try to act it. Na wanaereba, hidu ime, imerekea kufunja doa vitu nyingi sana. Wadugu na wadada. Rafu wamejaribu kuinoma rais, ati muone, ah, it's just a movie. Wakati wanataka kuleta those hardcore beliefs, zanya wanajua they are against many cultures of the world. They bring it as entertainment. Vitu kama lesbianism, homosexuality. Kitambo ungesema ama homosexual, haugefika kwenu. <laughs> Ugeuliwa kwa soko. <laughs> Na si polisi raya. <laughs> Leo hii unasema, unasikia mtu wakisema, well, let's debate, why? Because it's in our movies. Hapo diyo walianza kutuonyesha, it's just a normal thing. <laughs> To be a lesbian or not is just a choice. <laughs> How did they bring it? Shatani hakuitana kuruzid. Apana ijentu wake wanaireta tu kwa jia ya movie. <laughs> Sasa wame, wameleta movie nyingi sana zinaonyesha na at the aliens. Watakuja kuinvade hii dunia. Viongozi wote wamewai kuwa kiongoza marekani. Wameulizwa hilo swali na media people. Wakaulizwa do you believe in aliens? Go, 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 I, I mean enda tu utafute kwa gugu. Uangalie. Hakuna alisema straight I don't. <laughs> what the Obama? Trump, the current one, na meulizwa. Na watu wanapianaka anza inaka hivi. Meaning, meena kuru. <laughs> kwa sabu, ukiulizu, do you believe in aliens? Unatu watu wakusema, no, I don't. No, straight. As you say, well, that's something that's uh, up for debate. Why is it up for debate? <laughs> Why? Kwa sabu, kitaka kujua sili za dunia hizi na kuwaga na watu wale powerful. How do you wanna ambiwa? Na anambiwa kufe nae. <laughs> Si wewe hakuna mtu anza kukupea siri juu hata utaambia watu tu hapa ukikula madodo na hiyo maneno itajaa kidhurai. <laughs> Jina mbona libarikiwe? Sasa this is the point. Wakati wanaongea kuhusu aliens, what are they talking about? People that are not really human beings. Modified laboratory human beings. Watu wametengenezwa wa laboratory. Na hii science enhancement ni kitu iko na discussion, ni kitu wamejaribu kuna fununu China majority of the army men are already fortified. And what we mean by fortified, they can live longer. They cannot contract many of the diseases. I mean, the immunity hardened biologically. Technologically, sorry. You know what? Ni mutu mukienda vitani ya nakibia, unaona kabisa hii ni machine. Hii si mutu. Na hasiki kuchoka. Na yote inafanywa technologically. Na mimi nikihua si potezi kila kitu na kiita ruma. Apana. Kwezi kukiita ruma, muliita corona ruma, mukaita corona ruma, ikaaktua movie ingine, mukaita ruma, sahi muko kwa movie. We are all acting. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> Kuna ziku hata utaakti ya Mailian. <laughs> Mungu wakikupea na fasi ukai hapa. So ni viyama hata uangalizo movie vizuri watu walifanya nini wakati waliona Mailian. So, no ukoro keni diskill. <laughs> ya ya kuaplai wakati zitafika. Because mimi na mimi hivyo wanazema zitakuja. <laughs> I, now, now, now this is the good thing. Bibi na sami akwamba wakati hawa nevli mwalija duniani, wanadamu wakakua corrupted. The Bible says, hapo diyo mungu waliona, I cannot take it anymore. This world can't be repaired. 
akasema roho yangu haiwezi shida tena na mwanadamu akabikabidi aimalize dunia sasa na tunaambiwa hapa na bwana ati kama ilivyokuwa nyakati za nuhu itajirudiria hivyo kabla ya kurudi kwa mwana wa Mungu in short wanadamu watafika eneo wachokeshe Mungu Mungu waone he can't take it anymore you have no choice but to wrap this world up <laughs> jina bwana libarikiwe for as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark in short biblia haisemi tusikule haisemi tusiowe na kuolewa yani in short inamaanisha watu waliishi maisha ya kawaida wakadharau kila kitu wakipewa warning wanasema it's another rumor it's another inaitwa nini conspiracy theory I mean they didn't take anything serious. They just went on with their normal life. Unajua kitu kimoja kinaua mpaka kiroho ya watu. People don't want to be disrupted. They want to remain in their status quo because at least they have mastered the art of their small life. They don't want to frustrate themselves with false hopes. Kama haujaiona matatizo, jaribu kuenda hapa Nairobi, uambie kiweta moja nataka kukuponya. Uwezi kukiponya. Unajua ni kwa nini? Maana kili taka kupona kabla <laughs> then after some time kikazoea na hiyo hali aya at some point kikajua mpaka kuitumia kupata riziki <laughs> sasa mtu unaponya yeye uharibie kalia how nitakubalije tutumie imani kuharibu kalia <laughs> i refuse sitapona <laughs> sikama unanielewa because i mastered my situation <laughs> na hiyo ndio problem ya, mwana, ya, ya mwanadamu anataka ukawaida na anataka hiyo ukawaida yake akae naye hataki kuwa disrupted now the bible says ni moja wapo ya zile sababu itafanya watu wengi wakose kufahamu na kudesign nyakati za mwisho hata wakijaribu kuambiwa ishara dio hii hawatai puuza they will continue eating and drinking unajua kuna watu wanadhani ati kurudi kwa Yesu ati watasikia filimbi kama ya refari ama maybe announcement kama ya dege waambiwa ya kwamba ladies and gentlemen uh, the lord is landing so kila mtu akae tayari na mfunge mishipi <laughs> samukio mumekai mumsikie ate bingu imefunguka Yesu ameru hapana atarudi maisha ikiendelea kawaida internet itakuwa kawaida yani kutatokea vitu kubwa zenye zinapaswa zikufanye ukue concerned but for some strange reason people will not even understand it and they won't even care for instance and i asked that question here the last uh, uh, nini the last service i'm going to ask it again does it not concern you that today we have some few people that are openly blatantly out there to muzzle the mouth of everybody else that does not speak what they believe you call it social media i don't have a problem but this is the first time it is happening in history at a certain group of people can say what you are saying is wrong and they don't care you're the president of america i said people should be concerned about that somebody should ask a question but nobody is asking <laughs> why because for them they don't want to involve themselves with the matters that they may not get under they just want to continue eating and drinking but ask yourself imagine akuja hapa ateninasema mimi uh, ni heterosexual na mimi ninaamini mwanaume anapaswa awe mwanamke twitter facebook wananifunga <laughs> aya mtu anatokea anasema mimi ni gay anafunguliwa atereleka we mukuru kitu zina zitajika uangalia kitu uliza swali you should ask a question i mean what's happening why but some people will say yeah well you know these are private organizations you know they when i they go they may go back to drinking and eating please this kind of thing should give you chills they should begin to wake you up like oh so finally we are changing seasons we are changing times we are reinterpreting life and somebody has the script and they want us to play along When I went to America for the first time, nilisikia kesi, I think it was on the news or something, I don't know. Nilisikia kesi ya mtu alikataa kupika keki kwa harusi ya gay, akafungwa jela. Kwa sababu amekataa kupika keki. All right. My private business. Na pikaga keki. A gay couple approaches me wananiambia wanataka kupikiwa keki ya harusi. Na mimi nawaambia siamini maharusi kama hiyo maana hiyo atazia harusi. Nasita pika keki. 
kwa sababu ya msimamo wangu wa Kikristiano inafungwa jela. Another private business called Facebook, called Twitter wanakufugia kwa sababu hauendeshani na misimamo yao but for them it is right to do that. <laughs> I mean wh wh what makes this business better than this one? <laughs> Because they are all private businesses. Why? The Bible says people will, what watakuwa kama blinded. The signs will be right in front of them but they will, for them they will say we shall continue to eat and drink. After all, azima nimalize kanyumba nimebakia kidogo kwa kanyumba Azima ni malize hii mwaka ukagita. <laughs> And watu watakuwa hiyo diyo vitu ina wakonsani kwa kichwa. Nobody will pay attention to anybody saying, hey, this is the sign of the end time. Please look at it. Nobody will be there. Please be believe it or not. We are setting the stage for one world government. In other words, tunanza kuji-exercise kutawaliwa kutoka one central place. I mean, there will be somebody saying, this is the right thing. This is not the right thing. And who pay the mood at the ama chance wewe useme na akiri yako unaonaji. Haihuka iku haihuka ikuzu kwa sababu ni kuingizwa katika mfumo aina fulani na vitu hizi zote wadogo na wadada bibi anasema ya kwamba watu watavipuza people will not even pay heed just like when Noah was speaking and speaking and people kept saying <laughs> it's now five years ever tangu anza kutuambia maneno hiyo maana kuligana historia Noah alijenga uh, Sabina ka, karibu na miaka 100 ama zaidi miaka 100 akiishi ak, 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 kuambia watu hii itakwisha tutaingia ndani na Mungu atamaliza hii dunia mtoto anazaliwa anaitwa guka bado noha akiwa na ile message yake ya upus <laughs> i think hata watu wakamzoea hata wale walikuwa wamemjoini kujenga wengine wakaenda vibarua muhimu yenye inaweza leta mkatasi inga to alikuwa anamwambia he ani ni dhokiti ya family nyingi unajua mfurani alikuwa na kazi ukamuita mfanye kazi <laughs> ufanye kazi hii na hata hii kitu haitimi I think hata kwenye walikuwa wamejenga kule kunaanza kubomoka wanarudi kwenda kutengeneza huko. <laughs> I mean kazi mbaya sana. Na, na, na Mungu ana, an, aliangalia moyo ya Nuhu akajua die tu anaweza beba muziki wa aina hiyo. Maana is the only righteous man on earth. <laughs> Jina bwana libarikiwe. Sasa hata sasa hivi hakuna mimi nahurumia kwa watu wale wanasema wako na specific calling to preach concerning the end times. <laughs> uh, yaani wanaongea mpaka mwana mtu anasema kwa sababu anajindo. <laughs> Hiyo vitu ndio tu walikuwa nasema hata wakati wa waudu wotu. <laughs> na Bible inasema clearly watu hawatakuwa na ratness. What is the meaning of these meetings? To stay you up. Kukoroka kukujulisha kuku, dunia hii haiishi hapa. <laughs> Siku moja itakunjwa. Now I'm telling you. Kwa hivyo hata wakati unakura, wakati unakunywa, tafadhali ukubuke hautakura milele na hautakunywa milele. Wewe ati tatire tena kudhodeka mwili. But drinking and marrying and giving into marriage the, na hizo hizo vitu za kimwili za dunia hii bwana asifiwe sana watu watakuwa na consciousness ya hizo vitu sana kuliko mambo ile wanaelezewa ya, ya Mungu na maunabia nyakati za mwisho until the day that Noah entered into the ark at siku ile walishika ni kweli ni siku ile waliona no huru akiingia kwa kwa sabina na wanyama wawili wawili walisema haya ya ni maigira at at sasa hiyo atasasa dui na wahit. Anasema ni kemuruki kia kakia lisiri ya si. Yani dunia itakuwa hivyo. Bina sema kuruli kwa muwana wa mungu itakuwa hivyo. Watu watachukulia mambo kawaida until tarubeta ilie. Yo tuanza kusema gai hatuoni furani. The problem it is it will be too late. Eh anyway. Wagini hata watakuja kanisa kama kawaida. Afu watashanga watu wa kuongoza ibada hawa fiki. Na watafanyia kerele hapa hapa. Wakiwa wameachwa. Yo nasikia wakisema ya kuamba. Hai this church is disorganized. Maana sijui kwa nini watu wakichinwa kuelewa mambo wanaongea tu kizungu. Very <laughs> disorganized. I think kuna vile inakuliwaza ni kama umepata jibu. Kizungu si jibu. <laughs> Then watabaki hapa mshauri ndio ataanza kugudua haya na sio leo tu hatuwaoni. Ma TV watatangaza vile watatangaza na watu watu watasema wow. Wow, it's just another news. Please be alert and be very alert to the events of the world. Because somewhere somewhere there may be one or two signs prophetic ones that are hidden to alert the believers to stay ready because God is very gracious hata hizi signs anapeana kwa sababu ya kuamusha wengine azipeani ati kwa sababu tu lazima azipeane hapana ni kuangalia maybe anaona hata watu wengi wangu wengine wamerara anatupa sign moja ndio mtu aonekane kama atagutuka ni naona libarikiwe alafu wakigutuka wakiona hata tumeambiwa imeisha <laughs> anarudi kwa relationship apange harusi 
kama vile bije nasema walizidi kukura kukunywa kuoa na kuolewa <laughs> jina bwana libarikiwe until the day no entered into the ark verse 39 says and now and knew not they didn't know until the flood came okay oh mwanadamu unaweza mhurumia and took them all away shall also the coming of the son of man be ati hata kurudi kwa mwana wa Mungu kutakuwa hivyo hivyo wakati wa wanabebo na maji ndio walikuwa nasema no ufugua mtu anafikiria maji tamrudisha pande hii gine anaacha mikonga dilisha aone kama itafunguliwa but it was already too late <laughs> it will be the way things uh, things are going to be this exactly the same way like it was during the days of noah until the son of man is revealed then shall two be in the field so you know na yesu akirudi watu watakuwa tu kwa kazi zao za kawaida watakuwa tu kwa kazi zao za kulima the one shall be taken moja atachukuliwa and the other shall be left alafu watu watafikiria ni game ina imekuja kwa maisha kama vile tuko na apps za simu siku hizi kuna app ingine ya watu wana vanish i mean uhuru kuliko na watu mazo yao imezoeshwa tu vitu mpaka mwisho watasema ni kuomoka ki teknolojia at people can vanish you know so and so vanished maybe hata watakuja na kamsemo hey Frani haja vanish. I mean people are that dumb when it comes to spiritual things. Believe you me. When it comes to spiritual the people are so stupid. Lakini mambo ya dunia hii huwezi kuwafundisha. At one will be with, with na na huyu mwenye ameachwa asijiulize. Na no, usiwe dhiku. I think hata atakibia kwa nyumbani mapema kuuliza kusema kwamba wewe mimi watu wa sikuizi siwaelewi. Unatabia na mtu hivi mara kidogo hayuko. Mimi wewe mimi zilikwenda maudhu kama hiyo ni wajiendee nyumbani na bible inasema haita itakuwa inafanyika in different fields you know what the, the two will be in the field the one shall be taken the other the other left two women shall be grinding at the mill the one shall be taken the other left watch it therefore hiyo ndio jina mungu ama yesu akawaambia wewe safety yako iko katika kukaa arat watch it therefore for ye know not what our your lord doth come jina bwana libarikiwe and to watch it means to keep awake to keep awake to be vigilant to nairawanwa to keep awake to be vigilant to keep awake <laughs> to be vigilant and in fact in sometimes also it is to be awake literally mujirudishie maombi ya usiku usilale sana na ukore ndo madhire unaigua ukilalala unaamuka unaomba somewhere katikati ya usiku jina bwana libarikiwe to be watchful especially for danger or disorder to be alert to be wary to be vigilant for signs of disease in your garden yani hizo zote ni meaning za hiyo jina at vile unaendaka kwa shamba lako kuangalia unakuta haya na hii ni kama kuna mdudu anaumauma hizi vitu so hauwezi kwa nyumba unasema shauri yake ikitaka kukuliwa no unaanza ku watch ndio ujue the right measures to take sasa bibi nasema ukianza kuona ishara za nyakati za mwisho act like a farmer Mwenye amegudua kuna shida. Alafu aanze kuwa alert na kuanza kutafuta what can I do. Jina mwana libarikiwe. Don't just go back and sleep. The Bible says stay awake, be vigilant. All right? Then he says, uh, but know this that the good man of the house if sorry, if the good man of the house had known in what to watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not kwa ule muda haudhani the son of man cometh who then is a faithful and wise servant ni nani mtumishi um, mwenye busara na muaminifu whom his lord hath made ruler over the household to give them meat in due season hii inanenea watu wale muko na mito kutoka kwa Mungu bwana asifiwe sana na muko na utumishi fulani mnatumika kwa Mungu. Bibi nasema ya kwamba hata nyinyi ikifika nyakati za mwisho mtajaribiwa. Bibi nasema blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing. Kwa hivyo jia moja ya kumgojea Bwana ukiwa arat ni ku make sure unamtumikia kwa eneo aliyokupatia kutumika. Najua mkuna watu wanaulizaga ya kwamba nitajitayarisha aje kwa sababu ya kurudi kwa Bwana. Alafu wanafikiria tunamaanisha acha kukura ukiacha kukura utakufa <laughs> na hiyo ni suicide tunaelewanwa kujitalisha kwa ajili ya kurudi kwa bwana si kuacha kukunywa kujitalisha kwa ajili ya kurudi kwa bwana si kuacha kwenda kazi 
si kutafuta nabii fulani mwingine naye kwa pango mkaage huko na muuze vitu zenu that's not preparation preparation ni what the lord gave you to do continue doing jificha katika service because when you are serving god in imetengenezwa ni kama eneo Mungu anakuficha ma, ma, mapepo na ma zinaitwa nini maroho ya nyakati za mwisho itakufikia <laughs> unaelewana yani hii maroho ma ya nyakati za mwisho zinatafuta watu wale idol katika service katika mambo ya kumtumikia Mungu haupatikani hata kwa program kama hii hauwezi patikana tukisema ni kitu yote na husu Mungu you not available wewe ukiwa huko bibi anasema uko kama watu wa nyakati za nuhu hawajishughulishi na mambo ya rohoni na watu hawa ni isi pre they can be blinded when we near the last days and then they won't even be aware that the road is coming ina bwana libarikiwe i want to challenge you and everyone that's listening to us even online uh, please around now as you prepare for the return and for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ whether in the near or the far future it makes no difference but to be prepared is very important how do you do it number one serve God in the area he has placed you na kwa hivyo wakati wote unaona una, unaingiriwa na kusukumwa na any kind of pressure yenye nataka kukutoa katika service uh, please you are face to face with the devil himself that's how the devil huwa anakamua watu walikuwa arat spiritually na wanamkojea bwana wanaanza kuwa watu wa kawaida Muti yote natumikia Mungu akiacha kumtumikia anaanza kuwa wa kawaida. Unaelewana? Wakati unaniona niko hapa kahii katika hii mkutano ya jioni kuhubiria watu wachache, mimi si mjinga. Ninaelewa kama siko hapa ningekuwa mahali pengine. Na maybe si pazuri sana. Unaelewana? Wakati umekaa hapa sasa ningekuwa maybe hapo na watch movie ya ujinga. Alafu naona kielia nikimekuja kinataka kuruka kwa screen ndio anaanza kurudi. I mean I mean what, what kind of life is that? So I would rather save this time and be here and do something constructive and awaken the spirit of another that they may be watchful and in the waiting mode for our Lord Jesus Christ. So serve God anywhere you find yourself. Ina bwana libarikiwe. Mtumikie bwana na chochote ambacho kinakusukuma kukuondoa katika kumtumikia bwana. Stop being personal. Stop taking things in a personal way like oh hataki ni mtumikia Mungu hataki ni karibia pastor. No. That's cheap. Behind it is a spirit that want to make sure he rallies behind him so many that were once faithful to the Lord. Inabona libarikiwe. Atene nani huyo mutumishi muaminifu mwenye busara. Aliyepewa chakula kugawia wengine kwa wakati. Ate huyo ajiangalia sana. Kwa sababu wakati buwana nataka kurudi, they will be tempted to begin to be indifferent. Watanza kuchoka kumtumikia mungu. Inabona libarikiwe. But the Bible says, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Then, but if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayed his coming. Ay, buwana mekaa sana kurudi. Atuwanza kujembia hivyo komoyo. And shall begin to smite his fellow servants. Ukitaka kujua mtu ameyatakiwa na mapepo na maroho ya nyakati za mwisho kumukausha ni kufika eneo anakuwa so indifferent na anaona ni nomo kuwataka watu wale wengine na Mungu atapata wapi nafasi ya kupigana Hauna muda kama hiyo Ina maana nibarikiwe na please wacha ni waeducate kwa sababu you cannot run away from these things uh, for instance when we talk of things like uh, uh, you know the, the reality of false prophets false prophets have been there after you are gone maybe if jesus studies they shall still be there <laughs> they were there during moses time they were there during jesus time they were there during the early church they are still here so you cannot you don't have an answer for them it is not a case you can be able to conclusively deal with <laughs> i better tell you no wonder yesu mwenye alisema wacha gano na magugu zifanyeje zikuwe pamoja akasema unaweza kuwa na moyo tu mzuri na intention nzuri utake kungoa magugu itoke pamoja na gano because because the lines are so thin the lines are so thin when i'm fighting a particular thing here because it is being done, done by a false prophet i may still find the same thing going on in another camp of right and true prophets but the intention and their in you know, it attitude about this one is different tunaelewana so watu watachafua na vitu kama hizo kutaka kupiga wengine kutaka kukosoa sana wengine badala ya yeye focus na yeye mwenyewe maana time unatoa wapi time ya kujisafisha nawa that he is not aware oh. 
And then the Bible says, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yani kutakuwa na kulia na kusaga meno. Yani usha ilia ukasaga meno. Ukitukanana na matusi yako haibadilishi kitu. Bibia nasema watu watamutusi buwana. Tamuambia hana akili. Wadhali ya gakana huko biguni hiso sake. But to be too late. <laughs> kutukana yako haitabadilisha kitu. Padala ya kutukana, sahidi yo muda ya kujitayarisha. Wakatu inazidi kuziona ishara. Ukiona hii ni ishara, usinyanyane na yo. Jijigize katika, katika nini? Jina buwana nibalikiwe katika kujitakasa. Katika kumgojea buwana. Kukua katika mod. Na uavoid vitukani. Uavoid any force that wants to kick you out of service. Number two, avoid fighting other people. Especially those that are of the household of faith. Stay away from such scenarios. They won't help you. Jina buwana nibalikiwe. Jina buwana nibalikiwe. Maybe I may mention a thing or two. Uh, tunapoenda kukaribia uh, kumalizia then lisema I want to share with you vitu kadhaa zitakazo kusaidia kujita, uh, kujitayarisha are we together? na kati ya zile vitu tulisema mana tulisema last time this, this, the systems of this world are controlled by dark, uh, dark powers na tukasema ya kwamba they came up with a script yenye wameitumia kujaribu kubadilisha mfumo wa dunia na all of this was aimed and uh, ikatengenezwa ikiwa kinyume na imani ya, ya, ya ukristo na bibiria na nikakueleza na wale mulihamu kuwa hapa tukasema ya kwamba dunia hii ama uh, 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 nitasemaje sasa jinsi tunavyo ishi is, is maisha hii dunia imekawanyishwa uh, katika system about seven mbona siwe sana then we said, number one, we have the family. Family is one of the systems in life that you cannot escape. Every one of us comes from a family. Uh, whether you know the family or you don't know the family. Whether you grew up in, uh, in, a, in a family where they adopted you or where you were born, it was still a family. And there is what we call the family unit. So in, the, uh, in trying to establish his kingdom and his rule, the enemy cannot help but must attack God's original plan and order of what we call family and even right now as you uh, as you look uh, the family is under attack in a very serious way so much so that uh, sahi jina family he makes sense oh do you know right now as we talk with you uh kuna mujadara ya bunge ya marekani wanataka kurur out yani wa ban jina father na mother na sister na brother wadu muna jidaga wapi unuona kabisa mko kama watu wanu <laughs> Hamujuli si vitu hizi zinafanyika kwa nini? Kazi yenu ni kukura, kukunywa, kuoa na kuolewa. Nataka kupata ka third bone. <laughs> After you are done getting a third bone, dia go karora. Ni <laughs> dikotori. <laughs> and that's why kila mukristo lazima kuwe concerned na aje concern na wild na wild news. Because they may not be happening in your vicinity, but it's happening somewhere already. Tunarawanwa. Na ikia, ikianza kule itafururiza mpaka huko. That's how it, it goes. Shetani ma, zile mainchi na mainewa mesha penya. Akisha kaa vizuri ya kipata kiti. Anaanza sasa kutuma emissaries kukuja kujaribu kuduplicate hiyo huku. Shemumeona vile tumetumio watu wengi wakitusawishi tukue ge. <laughs> na tu embrace ge. <laughs> na whatever. Ilianza hapa. Apana. Sasa wewe unaitukulia hivi hivi. Lakini haujui. Shetani akisha establish mahali. Itafururiza huku. Na ikisha fururiza itakuta kukuta nani? Your children. Itakuta nani? Your daughter. Itakuta nani wewe, your wife, your husband. That, I mean, you cannot run away from it. Right now, as I talk with you, they want to ban the name father. It will not be used in America. Now, mother. Mano wana say, it is discrimination. Because there are some people who have decided uh, they don't want to be mothers. And they should not be discriminated. Now, I'm, I'm wondering. Mimi kutumia jina mother. Na niwe uliamua kutokuwa mother. How am I discriminating you? Really? Yani tunapokonyo wa right is a majority Tuna, tukuza za minority. And then we say we are in a democracy. Look at the confusion. What is democracy? The will of the majority. But I told you here another Sunday, uh, democracy does not exist. It's a Pharisee. Nijine inatumiwagu watu kama ya ulevi, ya kufanya masa isi wakue wa na idea hakuna. <laughs> There's nothing like democracy. Muta se kutaganya. Atuna kitu kama hiyo. Maana, if a certain people want to push the agenda, they will still push it. They won't even care there is anything like democracy. You better stick to the word of God.
Just like Jesus said, everything in the world, including democracy, will pass away. But my words will never pass away. You know, Bonnie Barikue. That's imagine at the Yavanata Kutu Maginote Anko, whatever auntie, and his own Maginas like a family, then you to Mesidua. At the Tasso Takua Unaita, you are, you are, you are, you are, in fact, you are Kusaso Tamuitaji. My female parents' sibling. Eh? This is my female parents. Bana sasa utakuna ita your mother, my female parent. Na unasema my male parent. No longer using the word father. I mean, mujadara, watu wa mekajini wa somi wana jadiri. I mean, mpaka, na mutu wana niyambia hatu kwa nyakati za mwisho. Wewe itorowe. Ina mbona libalikiwe? Sasa ibiri, nasema ya kwa, sorry, siyo bibiri ya lili. Nasema ya kwa makuna mfumo uliwe kwa meaka 65 years ago. Na nilitaja hapa wale mulikuwa hapa. Look for our other video. Na, na walipanga inawe, they will disintegrate family. How? They will lessen or reduce the authority of the parents over the children. And they are still in it. Because the moment we stop identifying with our children from that platform of father, then you are just a big adult in that house. Your word will not be taken serious. You cannot tell your child, I want you to go to school. Mana takwambia, no, I don't have that opinion. <laughs> Why? Because you are just another big adult in this house. But the word father is an authority name. The word mother is an authority name. You know what I mean? Na hizo mbajina wema tumana tumezizoya zika instill a lot of authority. Diyo sababu watu wakobizi wakitaka kuziyodoa. Diyo wabaki na society wakiambia ni right. Ni right. Maana muzazi diye pekea na ezakuwa mebaki ya kuiti ya kuwabie, ata ukiebua na mfaru meusiende right. <laughs> na usikie. Lakini sasa kama it's just another adult mkubwa mnono, anapitaga huko, huko kwa nyumba. Hata kikuwa biu na muambia, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Oi, na hii kanisa, I think, do you know, na hiyo unabia. Te kama siya ilikuwa nyakati za nuhu, watu walikuwa kikula. <laughs> na kukunywa. Na ku, kuwawa na kuwawana. <laughs> Jina bono libalikiwe. <laughs> ya hadi darubeta ikaria liwa kasa magai kwa ni mambo ilikuwa serious. Ya ito serious. Family is responsible for shaping the child and developing their values. Sasa wakati ime ingiriwa, you can, you can know. Uh, <laughs> Hii dunia razima, ita, yani itabidi mungu tuwa ikunje. Maana haiwezi kukaa hivyo na akai. <laughs> Jina bono libalikiwe. Uh, Tukazama vile vile kuna... Kuna system ambao tunaita ya, ya religion. And before I come to religion, families under attack in those ways I have said. Number one, trying to reduce the authority of the parents over their children. Kuna attack ya making divorce easy and legal. It's an onslaught on family. Because today then as I enter, are you aware that saisikuizu mutu wakingia marriage? Maybe here we are not yet there. Lakini nchi nyingi watu wakingia kwa marriage wanaingia na agreement ya contract. Now you can imagine getting into marriage anticipating divorce. I mean, why are you even entering to begin with? Ka kwenu, ka na mama yako. No, siku hizo watu wanaingia marriage na wameadikiana in case to a chane. This is how we share vitu zetu. Sasa unachaga si uache kuoa. Ama uache kumana hupigwi na mutu. But what is this they are selling us? They are selling us the idea marriage is not holy. It's not sacred. They should not stay. It's not a must. Hey, kama yako haina muerekeo, siyo, siyo ye tuna haijabadisha mpango ya mungu kuhuzu doa. Ongelelea yako. Sema sisi hupigana. Dio sisi ya tupigani tuwaonyeshe kutopigana. Tafadhali, tutusijaribu mpango ya mungu. Atuwa sabu niko kwa marriage ni natadikwa. Sasi nakuja na mi kusama ya kwamba, you know, kia uraro uga, you know, tutuvitu ya ujinga ujinga. See that to see to begin with. Na to Tikuroga. Now, Kiona to Naruka needed to Majari Bukufa Kupona. Ikakataka Kufanika. Mana, we must stay in the will of God concerning family. And the marriage bed must be holy. That's what the Bible says. You know, Bonari Barikue. But when we try to make a divorce easy, divorce must be difficult. In this idea, when we went to the house, they want to divorce their wife. In our Biara, I come behind us either, and I come to the house. Na uenda kotini useme hivyo. Mutu wakifuata fuata. Mishu wena kwa bia atronida tosoka no. Tuliona turudiane. Ninamshukuru ni, 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 mungu ninazema vathari vyo nilifanya gumu. 
Kwa sababu ukifanya hizi kila mtu hapa anataka kutoka kwake. <laughs> Wengine hata hawana sababu. Saidi amegudua aliolewa na kamtuka fupi. <laughs> Yaani as stupid as stupid as that anataka aenda lukuruga kiora lukiora kile da kuruga tuone kiona muunu muku yani tutu vitu tu ya ujinga ukiruhusu watu ufukue yako kadirisha uhoi watarukia hapo na sio vio viura peke yake hata masamaki wataanza kukopi unaona kabisa hiyo ni thamaki kitikiora lakini kiko nje kwa sababu kiliona chura ikiruka kuna madirisha azifunguliwa wagui they should stay closed na zikifunguliwa zifunguliwe kidogo tutoe yule anaumia sana aruke na tufunge <laughs> Maana hata wale hawaumii, utaona wakijaribu kuweka mguu hapo, toto kinyamu wiki tikiega. <laughs> Mtu saidi anaanza kugudua gai. Huyu mwanaume aliniwa hana pesa. <laughs> so unashaka. Si hiyo hiyo ndio mlikuwa mnakunywa chai na madasi mukidete. Kisipogezeka wewe tulia. Nyua hiyo sio. <laughs> Nyua hiyo chai imetosha. <laughs> Ina mbona libarikiwe? Don't make a divorce easy. Alafu usifanye rigo free people from the concept of marriage for life yani waondoe watu katika akiri ya kuoana for life ikuwe contract na vile vile vitu kama sex zina zinafudishwa na zinakuwa demonstrated kama free then abortion is made legal and easy to procure kwa nini nakusomea vitu hizi kwa sababu roho ile inafanya watu washinde kujitayarisha inaitagwa wildliness Waka, wakati nasoma vitu hizi na jaribu kukuonyesha sasa practically what is the spirit of the world the spirit of the world is the spirit that sets the systems of this life and all of them are against the world they are either against the world or they take rightly the authority of the world tunarawanwa na sasa problem iko hapa na sababu lazima tuseme vitu hizi kanisa lisipofudishwa linadhani hata wanasemaga siku hizi ukisikia mtu anaongea kuhusu siku hizi huyo ni mkristo ya dunia Mana wa, 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 wa Kristo wa dunia hawaidagi na siku hizi wanaendaka what does the word is it? we don't say siku hizi maana hakuna hakuna mahali tuliambiwa kuna siku zitafika neno libadilika hatukuelezwa hivyo wanasemaga siku hizi unajua siku hizi na nyakati za kina mama siku na nyak... no 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 the word of god is still the word of god we don't have anything like siku hizi na kwa sababu ya kanisa kuzoea kusema vitu kama hizo siku hizi unajua you know hizi si si zile nyakati za kitambo wameanza kukaa dunia na hawajui it is a spirit worldliness is a spirit it's not just worldliness it's not just lifestyle kina mbona libarikiwe na vile vile wataingilia eneo la religion na eneo la religion ni kwamba they will try to supply alternative faiths yani wanakuambia si lazima uamini hicho kicho kitu mama yako wanaamini ama ate Mungu bwana sisi tunaweza jiita new age movement Funny enough, wana practice atheism. <laughs> na atheism ni, ni idea hakuna Mungu, yet atheism they are calling it a movement. <laughs> I mean, this, this is so funny. So you have you have a movement, I know you have another category of people that after these ones are Christians, these ones are Muslims, these ones are Hindus, since we are atheists. Okay. It doesn't make you better. As long as you are being troubled by my faith, and you want me to drop it and join you clearly you are telling me stop believing that believe this other one so as long as over here you still have something you want to believe you are you're not atheist <laughs> you are still practicing the natural potential of faith every human being has been given by god the ability to believe is god given hakuna kitu kama atheism it is a farasi it's a mirage and you are a sika tu atheist moja muweke kwa dege alafu mkuwe na drill mpange na pilot ama hiyo mtu anapeanaga matagazo hapo akuje atagaza ladies and gentlemen it's unfortunate uh, we are going to go down and we are going to have an emergent landing hivi sataogea na dimi you will see it kuna sikio wewe mwaza niliba kando robo korobos ya vijana mbuza dit ugire so ni sema wewe ni hivi titles just a joke na those just for us dagada karegi ni wongo hakuna vitu kama hiyo ni ni watu wanataka kuwa tu na ka movement ndio naye asikiki alifanya kitu huko duniani jina bwana libarikiwe na mimi sioni kama nitaendelea sana lakini kuna vile vile education education ni system ya kupanga maisha hii na education kwa education wanasema hivi that they should take god and prayer out of schools take god and prayer out of education system na iitwe intolerance uh, 
wewe kukuja kututajia Mungu ni kumaanisha you are not tolerating us. How that how they even come with some of these ideas is, is really crazy. At the moment it gets in his mama been saying father in the name of Jesus I'm no you know for us some of us we don't believe there is a god. Now if you don't believe there is a god ka kwa kona kule. Na belief yako na wale hamuamini pamoja muende kwa kona hiyo. Mukaobe maobia watu wale hawaamini kuna Mungu. Maybe mujio mujio bani. I don't know how how you are going to do it. Na sisi muache tuobe Mungu. Kana. I think for me that is the little democracy. The real democracy ni I practice mine here you practice yours there and we don't fight. Sidio. Lakini hii hakunizima dio sigetebi. Sasa wanasema take God out of school and take prayer also out of school. What does that tell you? Prayer is important. The devil knows if he can switch off the fire of prayer, he can make many cold and they will be caught and avias. And that is the last one I want to uh, sorry to finish with. Na Nimewahi soma hapa sita irudia. Endo witafute katika, katika barua za pita. Uh, inasema hivi, kwa sababu hizi siku ni, ni za nyakati za mwisho. Ati be sober that you may be able to pray. Jina mwona libalikiwe. That you may be able to pray. Na vitu hizo zingine zote maybe, because I may not get time to, 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 you know, to mention them. All the, the systems. Kama ya government, ya media. You know, ya art. Na business. You know. Uh, all of these systems ukienda uziangalia vizuri the way they are set they are set against god and specifically the authority of christ and his word jina bwana libarikiwe but at the end of the day that's why we are a certain different kingdom we don't operate by worldliness we operate by the word because the lord told us everything else will pass away but his word shall remain and i want to be part of that which will remain i don't want to do guesswork jina bwana libarikiwe Uh, sina muda ningetaka uinamishe uso wako mdo wangu umekwisha kabisa it's already seven nataka uinamishe uso wako dakika moja mahali ulipo and one thing i want you to pray to god is that you shall be prepared you shall be up you shall be vigilant na wale tumerara kwa jia moja au nyingine nimekuambia kurara ni nini kurara ni kama ulikuwa unamtumikia bwana kwa jia moja unaacha i feel sorry for you because i don't know how you are going to freshen the reminder And, the, and to keep fresh the consciousness of the Lord in your life. If you are not serving him daily with a good intention and a motive. Na kama vile vile umezima katika ili ya maombi. Sahidi wa mutu muambia mungu. Baptize me yet again with the spirit of prayer. Because there is something called the spirit of prayer. It is in the book of Zechariah. He said I will pour it upon the house of David. In the last days. I will pour the spirit of prayer. The spirit of grace and supplication. They will look at the one they crucified. They will cry. Everyone will look for a corner. Each house by themselves. And they will cry out their heart. Repenting and turning to God. Neema na nguvu ya maombi kiondoka kwa kanisa repentance inakuisha. Watu wanakosa kubadilika akili. Wanakuwa wameshika ushuhuda wa Kristo lakini maongeo yao ni ya kidunia. Wa, mitazamo yao na vile wanataka kufanya vitu ni vya kidunia. I pray that prayer power and grace will be back in the church and upon you beginning today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak to God in Jesus name. For a minute Monday bakatara bashika rabaganda. Rema katora pako sika da bayande re bado baso bada bagadia Rende meke tabo saka tama shande be kadiba I don't know whether you know that the devil gets so mad when you open your mouth and pray That's why he does not want it in schools but we are going to have to pray because it is this praying that keeps him out of office that keeps him tamed mango sabakata we are the restraining force of the devil and one way to restrain him is when we serve God in our capacity is when we also open our mouth and pray and we speak the word of God into the atmosphere and we begin to put into you know destruction in the form of systems of the devil rekando bokoto sikara bashanda dibada basoka rababosa dabayande rebozina we magnify your name lord you are good and your mercies and do forever tunaomba wa mwisho baba sio tu kwetu lakini katika nyumba yako katikati ya watu wa Mungu ombea kanisa la Bwana la kwamba Mungu ataliamsha kanisa watu wataamuka tena katika maombi waliopewa neema ya uombezi watajisikia tena Neema ya Mungu itakuwa juu yetu katika jina la Bwana. Rande bakatara basaka da bashanda rababolia. Renge debe sabatora badabusi bagadea denda intara haraboda.
We thank you, Father. We magnify your name. Let your hand of power touch your people afresh. And let there be an outpouring of the spirit of prayer. Let there be an outpouring and a heavy one for the spirit of prayer upon the church of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Upon the church of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Dio, tuachane na maisha ya kawaida. Tuache kusema hivi divi rivio siku hizi. Lakini pwana turudisha mamuraka ya neno. Tutaware nayo kwetu na katika nyumba zetu katika jina la Yesu. Tunakuwa budu we ni muaminifu. Tunalibaliki na kulinua jina lako. May you preserve the true church. And may we further walk and continue to walk in fresh faith every day. Tunakuwa budu ni kwa sababu we ni buwana. Na tunalinua jina lako. Mutiote na yasema mungu ni naitaji kuwa mshua. Naomba tuinue mkono wako mahali ulipo. Just make that prayer before God. Genuinely. The Lord knows you. Na anajua unahitaji kuwa mshua katika eneo gani. Mengine tulikuwa wasomi wa bibiria wakubwa tuliacha. Tulikuwa tunamtumikia mungu kwa jia moja unyingine tuliacha. Tuliacha maombi. Tuliacha evangelism. Tuliacha hii. I want you to dedicate your life to God. And I want you to tell God I want to stay at that. Because the life of this world has nothing to gather from. You cannot gather anything from the life of this world. By the time you live, you live as if you never compiled as if you never heaped nothing but in the next life if your rewards are there they'll be waiting for you and you shall be rich in the next life i want you to lift up your hand and tell god father stay my spirit in the name of jesus koroga roho yangu bwana katika jina la yesu kristo baba nina kuomba katika jina la yesu kila mmoja aliye hapa aliye nisikiza hata kwa mitandao na hasoa kama ni mwana wa mungu hasoa kama ni pati ya kanisa mwili wa kristo let there be an awakening in jesus mighty name an awakening, an awakening, ukawaida utuondoke. Ili ya kukaa kama dunia mpaka mahai maeneo yetu ya kazi. Hawezi wakatofautisha nani ya mekuka nani ya haja okoka. We rebuke the spirit of worldliness in the name of Jesus. We pray that we shall be ordered in the word and in the way of righteousness. Not by might or by power, by thy spirit. I pray for anyone that's listening to me and for one reason or the other. They have come to the place where they are so completely tired of prayer. They are not just not playing. They no longer believe in it. They actually criticize prayer. I rebuke that attack of the devil. And I pray that our minds will be healed. Our souls will be healed. And we shall willingly, willingly take up on us again prayer. And even as we do it, let's not do it by our own volition. Only just because we want to impress you. No, no, no. Let it be a spirit thing. Let the spirit of God take over. And baptize so many tonight. Again with the spirit and the power of prayer. Tunakupa utukufu na sifa wea ni muaminifu. Okia utukufu na sifa baba. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba hata na kuwamini. Amen. Somebody might be reasoning to me and you are not born again. You know that today, if the trumpet sounds, heaven is not your destination. I want you to repeat after me, Lord Jesus. Today, I receive you. I confess you as Lord and Savior. That you rose up again. That you are God. And the only author of salvation. I receive the forgiveness of sin. And the spirit. The grace. To serve you. Till you come again. Amen. If you did that prayer, you are a child of God. Join a Bible believing and teaching church. Grow in the faith. And the Lord bless you. And now, Father, we thank you because of our offerings, any kind of offering that we are giving. Bless it. It's part of our serving you. It's part of reminding ourselves that we have a kingdom to advance and a kingdom that will guarantee us eternity. It's good investment. I pray that we shall do it joyfully and receive a reward from you. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Asante sana kwa ajili ya kuchukua muda wako kujiangalia vipindi vya neno la Mungu haswa. Katika hii runinga ya GBN TV ama ukipenda uh, Grace Broadcasting Network. Tumebarikiwa sana kuwa na hii heshima kutoka kwa Mungu kuweza kukuletea mahubiri na kuweza kufikia nafsi yako kwa jia ya neno la Bwana. Na Nimeshukuru ya kwamba umepata nafasi ya kulisikiza neno. Na kwa hivyo ningeshukuru kama ungenikubalia nipate nafasi ya kuomba pamoja nawe. Na utarajie kutoka kwa Bwana ambaye hufanya miujiza. Yeye ni kuhani mkuu 
aliyeteseka kama sisi aliyechukua mwili kama sisi aliyeteswa na kujua matatizo ya dunia hii kwa hivyo anaelewa unachokipitia na ningetaka tuombe tumwaminia Mungu aingilia kati katika matatizo na mahitaji yako katika jina la Yesu Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mbariki mtazamaji wangu muinue huyu ambaye amechukua muda kuamini katika Mungu yule tunayemhubiri wewe Mungu uliyetuita uliyetupatia huu uamsho na hii kazi ya kukuhubiri uwakubuke wote hawa wanaochukua muda wao na haswa huyu sasa hivi ambaye tunaaminiana naye aliangalia runinga yake mkono wako wenye nguvu ukapate kumguza ukafanya ishara na miujiza katika maisha yake utukufu wako uonekane wakumbuke hawa wagonjwa anaye nitazama na ni mgonjwa na maumivu amepewa eh, ripoti ya kutisha na madaktari uponyaji umfikia sasa hivi mkono wako wenye kuponya mkono huo sasa unyoshwa kwao na matatizo ya kiafya yondoke katika jina la Yesu Kristo uinuliwe milele bwana hatukujaribu tunakuomba katika imani na mtu leo hii apokee muujiza na akaweze kuta, eh, eh, kutangaza wema wako na kushuhudia ya kwamba wewe yuaishi asanti kwa kutusikia kumbuka kila familia kumbuka kila doa kumbuka kila nyumba mahali ambapo hiki kipindi kina uwezo wa kufika Natangaza baraka ya amani huko, natangaza neema ya Mungu huko, natangaza ufanisi na kufanikiwa, natangaza kunawili na kuvunja raana katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asanti kwa sababu wewe ni Bwana. Asanti kwa kutusikia wewe kila wakati, utusikia. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu akutendee sema amina. Ningependa kabla ni kuachilie, uenda ikao umesikiza kipindi hiki na haujaokoka. Haujapeana maisha yako kwa Bwana. Unajua ya kwamba alikufa kwa msalaba huenda ikawa hata huo unahudhuria kanisa lakini haijatosha kuhudhuria kanisa unahitaji kumpatia Mungu moyo wako Kristo alikuja kwa ajili hiyo kukunyang'anyana kwa dhambi kukutoa kuzimu na kwa shetani akupatia uzima akufanya mwana wa Mungu leo hii ujikatie tiketi ya kuishi na Mungu milele na milele sema nyuma yangu bwana Yesu ninakuamini ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu ya kwamba wewe ni bwana ya kwamba ulikufa na kufufuka na uliziondoa dhambi zangu kwa damu yako. Leo hii napokea msamaha, ninazaliwa upya, napokea roho wako, ni kuishia ni kutumikie. Amina. Kama umefanya hilo ombi, wewe ni mwana wa Mungu. Ningetaka kuanzia leo hii na ujasiri wa kukiri Kristo na kusema wewe umeokoka. Alafu hivyo hivyo tafuta ushirika wa wadugu katika Kristo walio na imani kama yako ushiriki pamoja na wao bora wawe ni watu wanaamini Biblia na kuifundisha na wanaamini katika the lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ ama wanaamini katika Kristo huyu umempokea lakini kama unaweza ukafikia ama ukafika kwetu kanisani mahali tunafanyia ibada tungeshukuru zaidi na kwa hivyo kama uko karibu na maeneo ya Gedurai 45 along the Thika Super Highway Atafadhali utaona maelezo pale kwa runinga tafuta ukuje tusome ibada pamoja tuombe pamoja na kumwabudu Mungu pamoja hadi tutakapokutana tena endelea kutizama GBN TV na uzidi kuzambaza huu ujumbe kwa mwingine ambia jamii ambia marafiki mbarikiwe pamoja uwashirikisha hii neema bye bye